Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love story reading. This is going to be for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Crystal Tarot 1111. My name is Erica. And we're going to look at what's going on with you and your person. This is not date specific. You may have already gone through this situation. You might be going through it now and it may be on the horizon. So cross watchers, it may resonate more for you. Obviously it's general. It will not resonate for everybody. Obviously do check out your other placements for additional messages and also check out the monthly readings and guys, if it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. So let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn, with you and your love story. We have the Fool with the Emperor, Three of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Death card, the Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, King of Wands, Knight of Swords, the lovers and the devil. Interesting energies. I'm going to read you over here, Capricorn. And um, I'm going to read them over here, but obviously feel free to change it around. Um, sometimes the energies can mix together, so they may resonate from both sides. So take it as it fits, guys. And if it doesn't fit, don't make it yours. So what do we have here? I'm getting that this it's really interesting energy I'm just soaking it all in I feel like there's um, a reestablishment of balance that's coming in here um, I feel like this person in the past Yeah, you know, they may be ready to begin a new journey with you, but they may be afraid of heartbreak. But I feel like they're the ones that there's something here where I'm, I'm just going to get more cards because this is already a little bit like what is happening Capricorn. Okay, so let's look at why you have the four of swords. Why do you have the four of swords card? The temperance card. Okay. I feel like you've been waiting for something to change. This person might, you might've been waiting for this person to leave, um, a, a relationship, um, or an, or another situation. And what's happening now is it's coming in. It's coming in for you, Capricorn. And I feel like this person may have been sort of on the edge of ending something before, but they never did. And you've been kind of like, Biding your time, knowing that uh, there's a connection here. So let's actually see why they have the emperor, the high priestess. Okay. And why do they have the fool? The hierophant. Wow. Look at all those majors. This person, followed by the death card. This, it's like this person's been undergoing a major transformation uh, that you may not be aware of as you've been sort of focused on yourself, your own healing. Um, I feel like maybe you, you have let this other person know, maybe Capricorn, that you are wanting, um, something more you want, maybe you work together and maybe you're wanting them to ask you out now that they you may or may not have communicated it, but I think that what's happening, why do they have the three of swords here? The page of swords. Why do they have the death card? The two of cups. Okay. So they, if they're not ending something, this person is um, in a place where they're connecting strongly to you. And they see you as this beautiful soulmate energy. 
Capricorn. It's, um, I'm getting this feeling, and I don't normally say this in my readings, but this could be a, a Capricorn and Scorpio energy in the charts. Okay, so there could be a lot of Scorpio energy or a lot of Capricorn energy. Obviously, this is a Capricorn reading. But when I'm seeing the lovers next to the devil and the death card next to the two of cups, to me, it feels like that's a very significant placement for some of you. But if that's not the case for you, don't worry. It doesn't mean this is not for you. But uh, And I don't normally try to give signs in my readings um, through the cards. It's just not how I do it. So there's a reason they're bringing it forward here. But let's see why you have the six of pentacles in the world. Yeah, I feel like you've kind of been waiting for this person to end something. So now something can begin. And I think it's going to begin, <laughs> Capricorn. This person might reach out with some initial communication. Um, now that they're completing a really big cycle. Or they may hold back on the communication until they're ready to really go for it. With the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords, it's like when it's, they're on, they're on. It, they're coming in hot. And the Page of Swords gets the judgment. Okay. So, if this is somebody who in the past may have, you know, hurt you and you spent some time healing... They're coming back to say, you know what? I'm sorry for hurting you. I've learned my lessons. I was an idiot for hurting you. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe maybe I didn't trust my intuition or I did or I hid things from you. And now I'm ready to show you that I'm different. Why do you have the Ace of Wands? The King of Cups? Because there is a lot of love here. You may not be showing it. But... And the Ace of Cups. I think you did say, like, I would want I would want a relationship with you. And maybe they had to get out of something and end something before they could begin with you. And certainly, again, you could have been at a work situation and decided that you had feelings for this person, Capricorn. And you were kind of uh, pulled your energy back a little bit because of the, the circumstances. But again, not always, but... You're, this person, you might be waiting for them to come to, to maybe leave a job and go somewhere else so that then this can start again. It's going to be different for all of you. Why do they have the Knight of Swords here and the Knight of Wands? They are coming in quick and you're ready because you've got the lovers here. And I think there's a lot of intense passion between the two of you. It's like, finally, I want this to get unleashed. In fact, why do you have the devil Five of Wands. Yeah, I think that you're dealing. It's like. And the Five of Cups. All right. I feel like Capricorn. If this person broke your heart before, you may be struggling a little bit with. Is this going to happen again? But I feel like this message is more. You're holding back. You're passion for this person you know this sexual chemistry for this person because you don't want to repeat the same mistakes that you did before by rushing things too quickly because i think this person is coming in hot and quick and passionately this person has equally as amount of passion for you but i think you're the one that's kind of gonna put on the brakes a little bit of like whoa 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 we gotta kind of slow this down because this is a lot that is what I'm feeling strongly from this. It's almost like I feel like I have to leave the room with the sexual chemistry between these two people. <laughs> it's like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I think I need to just step out and let you two figure it out because it is strong, really strong. So let's get the uh, let's get the guidance here for you. Let's get the guidance for you, Capricorn. What is the guidance for Capricorn here? The Empress, the King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords, followed by the Four of Cups, followed by the Knight of Pentacles. They're, they're saying to take it slowly. They're saying, listen, 
this is the birth of something really beautiful and fruitful. Um, it's time to be very sincere here and very, there's long, there's longevity here, but it's also about being very clear and level headed. This is about, you might be frustrated that you're, you're like kind of like unhappy, not being able to like really rush forward, but you're supposed to go slowly, go spirits, like go slowly, slow and steady wins the race here. Even though you're both feeling this intensity, but this is where it's like, clear your head, go out and take a cold shower, <laughs> go take a cold shower, Capricorn. Um, I know you probably don't want to do that, but for the longevity of this connection, it is important that you take things slowly, have a level head, focus on yourself right now. Um, because you have all the tools that you can, that you have here, uh, all the tools at your disposal to have success here. So don't think that you can't have this success, but here's that page of wands. So it's like start out a little bit, but like, don't go full force, you know, a hundred million miles an hour right out the get go. But man, Capricorn, this is looking good. Let me tell you. All right, lovely friends. Well, I, uh. I uh, hope that was helpful. Do, do check out the other videos and um, give it a thumbs up if this has resonated. And until next time, I send you love. Bye.